All right, great week out at the NFL Combine. Got to see some guys the Cardinals may pick with that third overall pick, like Alabama's Will Anderson, a phenomenal workout for him at Texas Tech's Tyree Wilson. Dude's just a big dude, long dude. Also, shout out to some local kids. The world's Keely Ringo running a 4-3 in South Point Catholics. B. John Robinson, lightning fast. Speaking of those high school days, that's where it all started with the Cardinals' new head coach. I've always kind of been like that. Some of my mentors have taught me that at a young age. Cardinals head coach Jonathan Gannon is a good listener. I just value the opinion of the players, you know, because they, I always say they're in between the white lines. I'm not. When he was between the white lines or on the basketball court or on the track, Gannon was pretty good. Not just a great athlete, but I've always considered him one of those top teammates. Born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, a three-sport state champion, superstar, and Hall of Famer. It wasn't like, well, I only have to know my position and not think about anything else. He was the guy that could go, no, you're doing this because, I, you know, we need you. you got to be doing this, you know. And those type of wheels, you, know, he, you could tell he loved that part. Gannon was a key piece of the St. Ignatius High School football dynasty. Number two was everywhere. His coach, Chuck Kyle, watched it all. Even back then, J.G. was like a coach on the field. Everybody loved him, right? Everybody loved to be with him. And he's not pretending to be some other coach. No, you're not a Vince Lombardi, John. You're not. You're John Gannon. And it, what's beautiful about it is with that personality he has and just the way he communicates, it fits perfectly with what he's doing. Coaching and winning make up his DNA. This was his response when asked about hitting two late free throws to seal a state title. Greatest answers I've ever heard, so appropriate. He, he said, I was nervous, but he said, but I was also very relieved because I didn't have to worry about anybody else. It was in my hands and I could do it and not have to rely on anybody else. It's in my hands. And we were all sitting there going, okay, fellas, it's time to go to bed. That's good. A career-ending injury in college at Louisville sent him to the sidelines and into the coaching life. And that's when I realized I wanted to be a head coach. So probably 21 years old. Preparing to be a head coach is not hard if you have a growth mindset and you listen to people. Listen, especially to his players. He's coaching in the Super Bowl, and his defense is ranked, like, number one in all these categories. And you're going... Ah, oh, it brings a tear to your eye, you know, you're so proud of them. That's how I kind of go about my, my process now is we're here to serve the players, and uh, it's really no different if you're a leader on a team. That's what you're trying to do as well. So a uh, very easy transition from playing to coaching.